Um, this, is, this is about the uh, info box for UNESCO World Heritage uh, Sites, which is evil. Uh, does anybody work on that? You know, is anybody sort of involved in working on that? Yeah, okay. Which language? Uh, all languages, because it's, it's uh, on my brief researches show that it's exactly the same in all languages. Uh, and Liam's going to demonstrate that. Okay. Uh, yeah, right, okay. Yeah, you look at that. So, this is uh, typically, um, particularly for third world, you know, the most important cultural monuments oh, for the third world. Global South. Global South. No! no. no. <laughs> third world. Third world. Okay. Uh, this is the information it gives you. What type of World Heritage Site is, it's cultural, it's not landscape, or natural, or whatever they call it. What's its criteria? It's one. That, yeah. <laughs> when was it designated? 1983 in the seventh session of UNESCO something or other or whatever. What's its UNESCO reference number? And so on. The only useful information it gives you there is that it's in India. It doesn't give you the dates. Actually, this one is slightly modified, but it's, that's untypical. Uh, okay, can you try this in other languages? Go to, go to a few other languages and see what they've got, because <laughs> typically, yeah, yeah, just bounce around, check, um, we haven't got Catalans here for once, uh, just bounce around, typically it's exactly the same in almost all languages, uh, and it doesn't tell you what type of thing it is, it doesn't tell you what date it is, it doesn't tell you what culture it comes from, it just gives you this bureaucratic crap from UNESCO, that nobody's interested in. Uh, and there are a few people who, certainly on the English Wikipedia, uh, on the talk page, because I've raised this on the talk page, uh, and there are a few people who don't understand the problem. Uh, it's, it, okay, we'll bounce around, you'll, you'll find Dutch, try Dutch. Oh, try Dutch. Okay, that's much better. <laughs> okay, try Dutch. Uh, generally speaking, I've found most of the languages represented here actually have this book, particularly for uh, Asian and so forth. Uh, and it's complete nonsense. It's really not helping our readers. Uh, and I have raised it on the talk page. Uh, a lot of European monuments actually have different info boxes and they have long articles and they have this silly thing down at the bottom, uh, which is okay if you want it. But, uh, the, the sort of much shorter articles we have on Asian monuments, uh, typically that's the only info box they've got, and it really is crap. Uh, so I'm just kind of hoping to get a posse together to, uh, you know, descend on that template. Uh, there one, there's one slight problem that a lot of them are natural, so if one put in coordinates, you know, culture, date, those don't apply to the national parks uh, and, you know, landscape monuments, uh, you know. So I'm sort of thinking it should be split, natural, cultural, uh, and then maybe kept as the bureaucratic version for the people who like that, for longer articles where it goes down the bottom. But where it's the only, uh, you know, info box in the lead of a short article, uh, it should be an info box that contains the information that readers actually might conceivably be interested in, and not all this bureaucratic bullshit. That's it. <laughs>